Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing this set of nails. It is a freestyle, I did it myself. So if you wanna see how I did it, just keep on watching. I was super, super excited to do a fall set of nails. I love fall colors. And Nail Addict sent me these six polishes over. I love their polishes, they're super opaque. You'll see that in a little bit. Um, the first one is a perfect, perfect nude. You all know that I love my pink gelac nude, but this one just might be my new fave. Um, I picked a lot of fall colors just because, like I said, I love fall colors. Um, but I did choose this teal baby blue as well called Happy Birthday. It's super pretty. Um, and then this holographic color. I feel like I can't really find any holographic colors in any um, brand other than Madam Glam and Nail Addict. And they are sister companies. Um they're also cruelty free and vegan so i love that about them um but i am gonna go ahead and just start off my nails the same way i always do um push back the cuticles and then i'm going right in with my cuticle bit this cuticle bit i am using it in the forward position and i'm only going over half of the nail and then once i do that then i'm gonna put it in the reverse position and go over the other half and in this video, I am going to be going over more extensively how to prevent lifting. I have a lot, a lot of people asking about that. Um, I do try to make my videos very detailed and I definitely think that they are geared more towards beginners. But in this video, I'm just going to go over um, pretty much all the tips that I have to prevent lifting um, all in one video. Um, so to start is definitely you need to prep, prep, prep. That is the number one thing. Um, make sure that you are doing all of these steps or at least your own variation of them. You do need to at least be pushing back the cuticles and removing the shine off the natural nail. Um, the only reason you didn't see me do that in this video is because I did do a soak off earlier in the day. So I just went in and um, used the cuticle bit. But then um, before you apply the nails, you do need to make sure that they fit your nail properly. They do need to fit sidewall to sidewall. Um, make sure they're not too big or too small. If they're too big, they're going to lift on the sides. If they're too small, they're also going to lift or they can crack. Um, and I always etch underneath. Um, I used to sometimes just prime, but I always etch underneath and now I prime as well. And then this is a nice little bit that I use to get the pinky since my sanding band um, is too big to fit under the pinky. And then these are two products that are pretty much a fail safe. Um, it's the Young Nails Protein Bond as well as the No Lift Nails Primer. You can get that from Sally's. And then the third one was just um, the Gel Bottle Ink Clear Rubber Base. You can use that if somebody has like super oily nail beds or they're just a problem lifter. Um, it does have a primer in it, so you can apply that to the natural nail before you apply the extension with Extend Gel, or you can even use it in place of Extend Gel altogether. Um, and then here I'm just applying primer underneath all of the nails. So I apply, applied the primer underneath the entirety of the one nail um, because that is gonna be the encapsulated nail. And then here I'm just going in the same way I always do, applying the extend gel underneath of the nail and then applying excess around the underside of the cuticle, applying it at a 90 degree angle and then pressing down and flash curing. And anytime you get excess gel, you want to wipe it off. Try to wipe it off the sooner the better um, because if you cure it in the full size lamp, it's going to be harder to get off. Um, and if you have any excess just wipe it off with the brush. If it doesn't come off the brush, you can use the opposite end of your cuticle pusher or you'll see me using um, even a dotting tool to get it off and it just comes right off. So when you make sure that your nails fit sidewall to sidewall as well as making sure that if you need sculpted nails, you use sculpted. Um, I sometimes use natural because I don't have sculpted and it's just me. If it was a client, then I would use some form of sculpted and then just shape them to the shape that they want. 
Another factor to prevent lifting is making sure that you apply the right amount of Extend-Gel. Um, if you apply too little, then you can get air bubbles, which means that it is not going to be cured properly and it's not going to be cured evenly. Um, so that can cause lifting if you apply too much. Um, that's not as big of a deal um, as far as lifting goes, as long as it's not towards the cuticle area. But that can cause allergies if you apply too much towards um, the free edge and if it ends up touching the skin. Here I'm just doing my encapsulated nail. I applied a very thin layer of extend gel and then we're just gonna dab the glitter into that wet extend gel. And then for the bigger pieces, um, I'll just put those on and then if they're laying flat, that's fine. I'll cure it, uh, flash cure it like it is. If not, I will use an implement and press it down while it's flash curing just to make sure that it is laying flat. And I'm just doing half of the nail at a time just to make it easier. So after the first side is cured, I'm just going over to the other side doing the same thing, applying a thin layer of the extend gel and then dabbing the glitter in. And then I will flash cure that as well. And then I'm going to apply another thin layer of extend gel just to the tip of the nail um, so I can secure that glitter in. I'm not doing it under the cuticle area because I'm going to be applying extend gel there anyway to apply it to my natural nail. And as I'm doing this, I'm just flipping it over um, so I can see what it looks like on the side that will be visible once I apply it to my natural nail. Also, I keep saying it's thin gel. That's what I normally use. But for this video, I'm using the Kiara Sky Builder Gel. I still use Extend Gel on all my clients, but um, I do have excessive products um, from other brands that I just use on myself. Um, but yeah, I just mean whatever gel product you are using to adhere the extensions. Now here I'm just applying the extend gel so I can apply it to my natural nail. And again, applying at a 90 degree angle, pressing down and flash curing it. Um, there was some spillage. So here you see it was half cured and I just wiped it right off with the implement. If you do it like that, um, that will help prevent lifting as well. If you wait until it is fully cured, then it's gonna kind of create like a pocket. So it's not gonna be sealed. Um, there could be a hole in um, where the extend gel cured. So since the extend gel was only flash cured, I wiped it off and then I pressed down my pinky nail extension again and then flash cured again just so um, everything could be cured fully before I went into the full size lamp or cured um, to the point of being able to lay fully flat because there was still some portion of the extendo that was not cured underneath of the spillage. And then here I'm just going in and Shaping up the nails, I'm using my 100-100 grit file. Um, as long as the nails are sidewall to sidewall, this part should be easy. Um, but you do want to make sure that when you're filing it, um, you go back and forth on each side so that way they're not crooked. But also make sure that they, the edges are straight because um, if there's like a divot on the sidewall closest to where your natural nail is, then that could create lifting as well, could get caught on something.
And now I'm just going in with my sanding band to remove the shine off of the extension and to flush out the cuticle area. You definitely want to make sure that you are making the cuticles flush. That will contribute to um, longer retention as well. If they are not flush, um, then again, they could snag on something just like the sidewalls if they are not straight. Um, when you see my nail to the side, um, the nail extension is going straight out. It is straight. There's not a divot. Um, it's not going up, which happens sometimes when I try to excessively file. That's why I said you should... Um, file one side um, just a little bit and then go to the other side and go back and forth instead of just doing um, an excess amount on one side. And now I'm just going to dust off the nails to get a closer look. Um, on this nail, I'm trying to show you, like you can see, there's like a divot in the nail to where it is not as flush as it could be. So I'm using my 5-in-1 drill bit. This is really good for the cuticle area, um, especially if you are scared to use your drill um, like on clients or even on yourself um, because you think you'll cut them. This does not hurt if you get it on the skin and it gets really close um, up to the cuticle area. The only reason I don't use this all the time is because sometimes it can create dents in the nail if you're not careful or if you're using it at too high of a speed. So I try to use it only at the furthest up cuticle area um, just if I need it because otherwise the sanding man works for me. Now I'm just wiping off the nails with a lint-free wipe dipped in acetone. And then I'm going to go straight in with my polish. Uh, for the middle finger, I'm using Brown Addict. It's a really pretty camel color, and as you can see, after one coat, it's super opaque. Same with this color. Um, this is Mistress. It's a gray color. I love both of these colors. I have not been able to find like a really nice gray or camel, so I was super excited about these two. But literally, look how opaque that is. I don't even need a second coat. I don't know why I even used a second coat, but yeah, they look they look really good. And then this color, Sea Swing and Sun. This is a really pretty nude color. I'm super excited about this. I love like sheer nude colors. Um, Y'all know that I love my pink jellac vintage nude, but this might be my new fave. I use this on um, two other clients as well. They both had um, different skin tones and it looked great on theirs as well. Um, so it does complement different skin tones as well. And then it's not as like, pink as the pink gelac it has more of like a tan and just sheer um color to it so i like that it is different it's really pretty and i did do two coats of all of the colors uh curing in between of course for the full time um, another big thing to prevent lifting is making sure not to flood the cuticle area um so you don't need an excess of polish um you just need thin coats and to cure for the full time in between and making sure that all of the fingers are fully in the lamp. Um, over flooding the cuticle, that can definitely cause lifting because it will separate from the nail as it grows out. And then it could cause things to get caught up under there um, and cause the nail to lift. Um, so now for the marble nails, I'm just applying 
random um, swatches of the camel color and the gray color, Mistress and Brown Addict. Um, I meant to do just half on this ring finger and then the full finger for the index finger. That's why I'm wiping it off right now. But I'm just applying these at random and then I'm just gonna go in with a brush dipped in acetone and marble it out. Super simple marble. I'm sorry, you can barely see this part, but um, I'm just using the brush dip nest tone and just dabbing it out. And then I took a detailing brush and that was dipped in some builder gel. And then I just put it directly inside of my glitter bag. And then I'm just creating like random lines on the two marble nails with that. And then I'll cure that for the full time as well. Right now for my crystals, I'm going to go in with some IBD hard gel and I'm just going to be applying that to the nail where I want the crystals to go with that same detailing brush. Um, I have been using this because my Zule um, bling adhesive dried up and I just haven't got any more. But I like this, how it doesn't dry so quick and you can, well it doesn't dry at all, it cures. Um, and then you can actually put it in the lamp so you can make sure that you have the crystals placed exactly where you want them without it drying up. Um, these are Swarovski crystals, but I don't know what size they are. Um, and then after I cure that, I'm going right in with my top coat. I am using the Nail Addict top coat as well. You see how shiny it is and I'm going around the crystals, never over them. Look at that glitter reveal, y'all. I love putting top coat on an encapsulated glitter. Oh, that's my favorite part. Um, and now I'm just wiping off the sides of the nail so they are not bulky because I did apply an excess amount of top coat um, just so the top coat could glide over the glitter. And after I fully cure that, I'm just going in with my cuticle oil to rehydrate the skin. All right, you guys, that is the finished look. Let me know down below if you like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.